So I'm standing in the waiting room of my doctor's office because a week earlier, I was at work and all of a sudden it felt like someone poured cold water down my spine. And I thought, what is that sensation? So when I'm, when I'm actually at a waiting room, I always think, all these people are so nervous, I've got to help them, <laughs> right? I, I want to take away the anxiety that they have. So sitting and standing, waiting for the doctor, I make an announcement to them. <laughs> I say, hi. Um, some statistics for you. Um, just so you know, 98% of the time or higher of the times you come to the doctor, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> and that's actually a made-up statistic that I made up. <laughs> but, but here's the good part, numbers help people, so I do it. Like I'm a helper. <laughs> and the doctor finally calls me in. And she says, but why are you here? And I said, well, you remember like last time I, I told you I was in a meeting about a meeting regarding another meeting at work, which was very productive. <laughs> and it felt like someone poured cold water down my spine. Well, I went to the emergency room and you know, the emergency room doctor said it was probably my back and he was handing me some samples of some tablets. And before he could tell me what the tablets were for, I had taken them. <laughs> and I said, you realize if I find a pill in a parking lot, I will take it. Like, so let's not divvy it out too much, right? So she said, my doctor, wonderful woman, said, I'm gonna have you go down and get an X-ray. So I go down to get an X-ray, and it's a Friday, very, you know, not crowded, and the X-ray technician is making small talk like they do, like, you love in college? I'm like, I'm not in college, but... <laughs> and we get there, and she takes the X-ray, and um, she says, are you going to go home? Or are you going to go back up and talk to the doctor? And I said, oh, it's, it's Friday. They're going to call me if there's anything wrong. And she says, you're not going anywhere. I thought, what, what is it? <laughs> and she turns the screen around to show me I have no left lung, absolutely zero. So I said, where is my left lung? <laughs> And she said, oh, it's probably up here somewhere. But, you know, it's all claps, 100%. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> so I thought, I've gone seven days like this? Now, the next couple minutes are a blur, to be honest. She's whisking me away, and she's telling me what's going on, but in terms I can't comprehend. She says, it's called spontaneous pneumothorax. It can happen to anyone at any time. Sometimes it happens to boys because when they go through puberty, they grow really tall and fast, like really quickly. Were you that person? Were you skinny all your life or no? I, and I said, oh, I, I, I guess. And she goes, but what's happening now is it's called tension pneumothorax, so it's actually crushing your esophagus and your heart. And if you had gone home, you would have died this weekend, but good luck with everything you you guys. <laughs> uh, thank you. I don't. So my doctor sees me and goes, what is this? You're not presenting as someone that has this. And I said, I'm sorry. I don't like, I'm apologizing to everybody at this damn place. So I'm like, okay. She says, we have to call an ambulance for you. And I was like, oh, how embarrassing, right? <laughs> So they call an ambulance, they strap me to this gurney, and then they wheel me through where I told people not to worry. <laughs> right? Nice, karma. <laughs> so I wave. <laughs> How are you doing? It's good. I said, it's just my lung. Um, don't believe statistics. Um, it's just 100% collapse, don't worry about it. Right? So I'm in the ambulance, and I realize I have to do the worst part, right, is I have to call my husband. And so my husband was working in D.C. at the time, and the thing to know about him is he's a lovely man, and I only say that because he might be my ride home, but I, 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 he's a lovely man, but he is a warrior, right? He constantly thinks I'm on the edge of death somehow because I'm six years older, right? A day doesn't go by where he doesn't say, do you smell burnt toast? <laughs> and I say, I'm not having a stroke, I'm hiccuping, right? <laughs> so I call him and I decide to reword it. So I say, hey, um, hi, um, I'm going to visit the hospital. <laughs> I um, seem to have misplaced my lung. <laughs> um, they think they know where it is. Um, 
I need you to uh, come home and take care of the dogs. Thanks so much, can't talk, slam. <laughs> so I don't wanna get into it. So th the next day my husband came, and again, God love him, um, his anxiety also makes him a little self-obsessed. Uh, I'm saying that politely. And uh, like, it's so cute, but I ultimately it will be in the divorce papers. But like right now it's like still cute, right? But I'm keeping a note. And he comes in, and this is the first thing he says to me. Hey, I, I stubbed my toe so bad at the house today. It's like all bruised. And I said, oh my God, do you want me to ring the surgeon? Because I have a hole in my lung. So surgery was the only way I could go to fix this. And let me just say one thing. Nurses rock. Because if you... All right. They, I tell you, they're the ones that run this stuff, right? And if you're nice to nurses and respect the work that they do, they do fun things for you. Like, like they would all hang out with me after the shift and we would watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Perfectly fine, right? But one time I needed help bathing and the nurse said, let's get Ricardo to help him. <laughs> right? And I thought that, whatever that is, that sounds like me. Like whatever it's gonna, and here's the thing about Ricardo you need to know. He is so muscular and beautiful that they don't have the scrubs that fit him just there. So he's gotta remove his shirt to help me bathe. So difficult. <laughs> So sad. So I say, um, you know, okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Back at home, I, I thought it was odd that there was an emotional toll of the surgery. I thought it was weird. So I was in the bathroom, about to hop in the shower, and I looked at all the scars, and I just kind of teared up for a moment because I felt very broken. And just then, my husband knocked on the door, and he poked his head in, and he could see that I was kind of having a moment and he just knew what to say. He said, how long are you gonna be? There's a sale at Target. <laughs> Thank you.